$1,000,000 plan to convert the Park Place Methodist Church into 60 apartments. The 100-year-old church closed in 2016. The building has been used for community groups since that time. Last night in council chambers, many expressed opposition to the project because those programs will have to find other homes. Well, with the redevelopment, the building will become a national historic landmark. Your taxes are dominating discussions as many local cities work on their budget proposals. That's right, and last night several of them revealed their plans, so let's give you the highlights. First to the Commonwealth's largest city, Virginia Beach. The city manager there is proposing a real estate tax increase of 2.3 cents. It shouldn't be unexpected as it was part of the deal to fast-track flooding projects voters approved last fall. However, it would still be the lowest rate in the region. Now, the Chesapeake real estate rate would stay the same. However, meal taxes would increase to 6%. Cigarette and tobacco taxes and the auto license fee are all going up. As we previously reported, Chesapeake residents will also lose curbside recycling. In Norfolk, the city manager's proposal calls for no adjustments in taxes or fees. However, last night, city council did vote to waive the auto license fee for the year to help offset higher personal property tax bills. This would save the average citizen roughly $36 a year. A city manager, the city manager also recommends setting the minimum wage for city workers at $18 an hour. And finally, Newport News City Manager is recommending a real estate tax cut for the first time since 2008. It would drop two cents per $100 of assessed value. She's also recommending a 25% personal property tax rate reduction. Now you'll have several chances to weigh in on those proposals before council votes in May. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has tested positive for COVID-19. Mrs. Clinton says she has mild cold symptoms but is feeling fine. In a pair of tweets, the 74-year-old said she is grateful for vaccines and recommends everyone get vaccinated and boosted if they haven't already. Clinton says her husband, former President Bill Clinton, has tested negative and feels fine. She says that he is quarantining until the entire household is cleared. Round two of questioning picks up today in Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson's Supreme Court confirmation hearings. During questioning yesterday, Republican presidential hopefuls steered their questions toward midterm issues. Those included critical race theory and crime. They pointed out Judge Jackson's background as a federal public defender and suggested she was soft on crime and child pornography cases. You sentence the defenders to substantially below, not just the guidelines, which are way higher, but what the prosecutor asked for. Judges have to take into account the personal circumstances of the defendant because that's a requirement of Congress. Some of the interaction going on there. Now, Judge Jackson also referenced her role as a mother and noted several of her family members have served in law enforcement. Democrats likely have the votes to confirm Judge Jackson on their own. And while that would not change the court's 6-3 conservative leaning, it would make her the first black woman on the nation's highest court. Historical markers honoring black female mathematicians who worked at NASA Langley during the space race will be unveiled today in Hampton. The markers will pay tribute to Mary Jackson, Katherine Johnson, and Dorothy Vaughn for their contributions to the U.S. space program. The women inspired the hit movie Hidden Figures. The unveiling will happen this morning at 11 at the Virginia Air and Space Science Center. Tornado watches and warnings are in effect in parts of the Deep South as a dangerous severe weather system pummels the region. The same system barreled through Texas and Oklahoma Monday. Take a look at that damage. It knocked down trees and caused major structural damage in both states. Texas officials say a 73-year-old woman in Sherwood Shores was killed and dozens more were hurt after the storm ripped through the area. One resident in Round Rock, Texas, shared the frantic moments as a tornado moved through her neighborhood. I felt like we were in I, I Twister 2. Like this, yeah. Twister 2. That's what, exactly what it was like. Meanwhile, people in the Deep South are on high alert as the same system treks east to Louisiana, Alabama, and Mississippi. These storms are capable of producing large hail, damaging winds, and the threat of tornadoes. The National Weather Service issued